we're running out of time. So let's talk about time. Okay, we're gonna talk about conversions within the time system. Okay, before we do anything, we need to talk about the time scale because just like units like uh, length and mass and volume, time also has different units as well. And it's a scale of units as we go across. So I'm sure you've all seen these before, but let's go through them again. Uh, the S, what does the S stand for? What unit of time is the S in chat? The S, what unit of time is the S? Seconds, all right. And then the M is obviously the next one up from that is minutes. And then we've got HR for hours. We've got D for days. We've got WK for weeks. And then we've got YR for years. So we're going from the smallest unit of time across to the biggest unit of time. Okay, as we go from left to right. But now in math literacy, we don't really um, work with weeks and years much. Okay. And also, we don't work a lot with days. You will see some questions with days, um, especially when you are changing units of time. I'm talking about when we change units of time, they're converting between different units. I'm not saying that there are no questions with weeks and years, but when you're converting between units of times, we don't often convert from, for example, from days to weeks and weeks to years, all right? You do see it happen every now and again, but it's not common, all right? So what I want to focus on today are these three over here. All right, seconds, minutes, and hours. Okay, so we're gonna focus on those. We're gonna work a lot with them. All right, so S is for seconds. M is for minutes. And HR is hours. All right, so we're gonna work with these three units basically. And I wanna test your knowledge here. I'm sure you all understand this, but let's just remind ourselves that one day it equals 24 hours, one hour equals 60 minutes, and one minute equals 60 seconds. Okay. Now, when you look at this, I also want you to remember something else, that any number that you see here can be expressed as a fraction. So for example, one day or 24 hours, I can also write this is 24 hours out of 24 hours. All right. You might be thinking, why are you doing that? But I promise you there's a reason for this. Okay. So you can also express one day as 24 hours out of 24 hours. If I had to change this to half a day, all right, you know, half a day is going to be 12 hours. And then that fraction is also going to change to 12 out of the 24 hours. Okay, so just remember that all these numbers that we show here, uh, the one hour, the one day, and the one minute can be expressed as a fraction. And then if we change that one into portions, we can represent it as fractions. All right, so I'm just going to put it all back. So we know these numbers, all right? Just want to remind you, we'll see just a little bit later on why I'm doing this. I just want to remind you that we can change one day into 24 out of 24 hours. All right, so we all know this, okay? Now let's talk about conversions. And we did the same thing when we did um, uh, something similar when we talked about measurements, because we need to know how this system works. There's no imperial to metric time. We need to know how, how to work within this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask, if I go from minutes to seconds, what calculation do I need to do? If I have, for example, one minute and I need to go to seconds, what calculation do I need to do? Anybody, what calculations, what buttons must I press on the calculator? If I go from one minute and I want to go to seconds, what will I do on my calculator? Anyone in chat? What buttons do you press to go from one minute into seconds? Oh, I think the heat has got them here. No, definitely, hey. Mm. 
multiply by 60. Sine, I think try and disconnect and then reconnect. Uh, multiply by, uh, by 60. Sakani, yes, multiply by 60 is correct. All right. So the one minute, you multiply by 60 and you'll get 60 seconds. Okay. So from one minute, you're going to times by 60 to get uh, 60 seconds. What about an hour to the minute? We know there are 60 minutes in an hour. So that's going to be the same thing. We're going to times by 60 here. All right. And what if we're going from seconds to minutes? Okay. What if we had 60 seconds and we need to know how many minutes? We're going to go the other way. All right. From seconds to minutes, from the left to the right here, we do the opposite operation. So if we were timesing by, by 60 to go from minutes to seconds, we need to divide by 60 to go from seconds to minutes. And the same from minutes to hours. We'll divide by 60. Okay. So if we have 60 minutes, for example, if we had 60 minutes here, to get to an hour, we would divide by 60, and you'll see we can get one hour. Okay, so if we're going from left to right from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we're going to divide. If we're going from a bigger unit down to a smaller unit, we are going to times. And just as a matter of interest, if I did have days here, if I had D for days over here, the jump from days to hours, Ooh, I hope you guys don't think 60, that's going to be 24. But from hours to days, to go up to days, from hours, we're going to divide by 24. So we can see here that when we go up to a bigger unit, we must divide. And if we go down from a bigger unit to a smaller one, we need two times. Okay, so these are our uh, units of scale for time. And we're going to work with these units of scale in the questions that come. All right. So I think we have a, a very good understanding of time scale. You guys use it quite often in day-to-day -day lives, especially at school. You think to yourself, geez, how many minutes do I have left of this lesson? All right. And I'm not going to ask which subject you say that in because I probably have a good idea. But um, and it's not math literacy. I think you guys... Uh, have a very good idea of time to be always waiting for when the lesson ends. All right. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to do this example. All right, because I've got some down there for you guys to try. So we're going to look at question one. And it says, convert seven hours into minutes. Now you'll see when I write these questions here, I write the word hours and then I write the symbol for hours HR. Okay, so you'll see me use this quite a lot. They should do it in the exam question as well, but sometimes they don't. So it's important for you to know uh, the symbols, all right, for all of these uh, units. So I'm putting them into all of my questions wherever I can. Okay, so convert seven hours into minutes. So if, if we're going from hours to minutes, we're going to go this way. We need to know, we know we need to times by 60. All right, so we're going to say, seven hours times by 60 and just get your calculator out and we say seven times 60 and it'll give us 420 and i know kia is going to remind everyone when you write the answer down to remember the two units units okay we, the question wants minutes, so we're going to give them minutes. All right, nice and easy, not difficult at all. All right, that's the answer for question one. All right, let's move on to question two. Okay, here it says convert 240 seconds into minutes. Okay, so now if we're going from seconds into minutes, we're going to go up this way. We know we have to be going up to a bigger unit. We know we have to divide. Okay. So we're going to divide by 60 in this question. All right. So we just say 240 seconds divided by 60. And you do that on the calculator. 
to 40 divided by 60, and that'll give us four. And the question wants minutes. So we give them minutes. All right. So this these examples are just to show you when you need to times and when you need to divide. All right. When you change from a big to a small unit, you're going to times. And when you change from a small uh, to a big one, you're going to divide. Okay. All right. It's time for you guys to work. These are yours. Now, I've said before that sometimes they're going to refer to grade 10 and 11 separately. So what I want you guys to do here, I want you grade 10s, if there are any grade 10s online here today, I only want you to look at the first two. If you want to try the third one, grade 10s, go ahead, please. It's good practice. Remember I said, if the grade 10s can do all the grade 11 stuff, you guys are going to achieve good results. Grade 11s, you've got to try question three. All right, that's your one. So I want you guys to please do question one or two if you want, grade 10s or grade 11s, you've got to try all three. Uh, I'm going to give you about five or six minutes to do this, and then we're going to pick someone to help us give us the answers after this question. All right, guys, it's 21 past, so about 26, 27 past. We'll come back for the answers. I'm sure if, I, if the microphones are on, we get a lot of calculator tapping now. Yeah, all you'll hear is just clickety click click. click, click. Clickety, click <laughs> yeah, tap, tapity, tap. Yeah, that calculator must work. It's too hot. It must do its job. Paul already has an answer for us. Oh, the answer disappeared. Someone put, put the number down there. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say the number, but I saw a number there. Phew. Abuzwa went straight to question three. Abuzwa picked the hardest one and went straight for it. Jeho <laughs> has already both of them down. Oh, these guys are too fast here. Yeah. They are so fast. Yeah, if we're going to have to make it. hear the audio in the background, hearing those yeah. calculators go off. Yes. Are we going to have to make it more difficult? I yeah, no. Next week, next week, we're going to have to raise the level of the game. <laughs> raise the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 240 minutes for question three. Ah, oh, we're getting some different answers now. I like it. All right, you guys are working very fast. I hope you're working carefully. You guys are good. Your speed is incredible. I hope the quality is good. I hope you guys are working carefully. more answers mm. hey there's somebody with my name yes i was confused there i was like thinking you're doing also doing the work yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right the answers are coming in still it's good we've got a couple of minutes still we'll give you all the time and then we're going to hope for one brave soul to raise their hand at the end to let us know if they would like to switch their audio on and help us through this question.
around one more minute and then we're gonna have a look at these answers. All right, I think that's enough time for these three. Looks like everyone's made a good attempt at these questions. Now I'm asking for someone to be brave and raise your hand. Let's see, use the, uh, the Zoom function of raising your hand and be brave and switch on your mic and help us through these questions. Who would like to give it a go? Don't be scared, guys. You already dropped Come such a in the chat come on guys somebody anybody somebody talk to us somebody talk come on guys is it anybody out there Katlejo. all right Katlejo. Turn on Hello, sir. hey Katlejo, how are you fun things in you sir hey we we hot we hot men run fire yes sir um sir for the first question, I did 60 times 6, which equals um 36, um, 360 minutes. Okay, so 6 hours times 60. Minutes. Minutes. That gives us 300 and? 60. All right. Okay, we did it on the calculator. So 6 times 60 on the money. Well done, Katlejo. All right. Do you want to Thank try you, second one? Yes, sir. Um, I said 540 divided by 60, which gave me nine minutes. All right. We're dividing. We're going from seconds to minutes. We're going from a smaller to a bigger, so we must divide. Very good. So 540 divided by 60. Nine. All right. Nine minutes. Yes, Very sir. good. Two out Thank of three. You. All right. The grade, are you in grade 11? No, so I'm in grade 10. Ah, he's, are you going to try the grade 11 one? Uh, sir, I'm, um, yo, no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but Katlejo was on the money. He's on I the commend, money. He's grade 10. I commend, him for his, I commend him for his bravery and his yes. fabulous so well done, Katleho. Yeah. Well done, Katleho. That was brilliant. Perfect. On the money. Is there anyone in grade 11 out there that can give us grade question three? Anybody? Sam is going to try. Yes. Sam, turn that microphone on. Talk to us. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? Good, thank you. So for question three, I said, four, wait, yeah, 14,400 divided by 60, which gave me 240. And then I divided that answer by 60 again, which gave me four hours. Okay. So this 240 here, what units are we talking about there for the 240? Um, we divide, it's minutes, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Minutes. Very good. Very good. And then we take our 240 again. And then divide and that by 60. Divided by 60 again. And then what, and what did it give you? It gave me four hours. Four hours. All right. Let me do it on the calculator. Let's check. It looks good. 14,400 divided by 60 gives us 240. All right. And then divide that again by 60 gives us four hours. Well done, Sam. That's brilliant. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. All right. I want to ask, are there any other grade levels there that did this? Um, in a different way. All right, there's a question there. Yeah, we need, maybe we can have a look at that. Yes, it says if Paul cooks at 16, 45 and 34 seconds, his food is ready at 19, 08, 33. How much time did he spend cooking? I like it. I like it. I was actually going to cover this um, in next week's section, but we can tackle it now. We can tackle it. I'm going to do it uh, after the section. 
And I like that question. All right, we'll keep it there, Kia. Let's remember that and then we'll try and have a go at it. All right, are there any grade 11s that coming back to this one? The answer was perfect, saying, well done. Exactly. Is there any grade well 11 done. that um, did this a different way and got the same answer? Because I'm going to show you another way as well. But this is perfect, Sam. Well done, Paul. Well done. Yes, the, that's the correct answer. Definitely. Well done, you guys. Okay, let me show you another way. All right. So if we have seconds and we are going to hours, we know there are minutes in between. So uh, Sam said you uh, wanted to go from seconds to minutes which is this step, and then from minutes to hours, which is that step there. So it's two steps, okay? So the first step we know is divide by 60. And the second step we know is divide by 60, okay? Did you know that you can hit this all at once? If, uh, let me just move this up a little bit and create some more space here. You can deal with this whole thing in one calculation. And it's acceptable to do it like this because we know that if you divide something by 60 and then divide it by 60 again, what is 60 times 60? Because you're dividing by two 60s, all right? Or 60 squared. So what is 60 times 60? That's 3,600, okay. So what, there's, what that means is there are 3,600 seconds in one hour, okay. So these two here, so the two 60s, if you put them together, that gives you 3,600. So what if we took our 14,400 seconds and divided by two 60s? Okay, because 3,600 is 60 and 60. All right, not 60 and 60, 60 times 60. Let's see if we get the same answer. All right, so 14,400 divided by 3,600. Aha, you do. Okay, so if you if you know this, you can do this and watch it. It's not compulsory. You don't have to, all right? You don't have to do this like this. But if you understand it, you can actually do the whole thing in one calculation and get the answer and you will get your marks, I promise you. All right. So you're dividing the 14,400 by 60 and 60 again and divide by 60, divide by 60 is actually dividing by 60 times 60, which is 3,600. So that's a fast way. So, and I'm actually gonna come back to this um, in one of my other lessons when we do converting within the metric system, only the metric system. So if you jump from seconds to hours, a big jump all the way, you are jumping by 60 times 60. So you must divide by 3,600 to get there. So that is another route, right? It's not the only route, it's another route. It's another option, okay? All right, there we go. Well done, Liz. Yes, exactly. So we can also divide by 3,600 if we're doing that double jump, or you can do it step by step. Now, I know what you're thinking. Must I do this new method? No, you don't have to. You do what you feel works for you. If you feel comfortable doing two steps and it works every time, use it. Do what's comfortable. Because in the exam, when you're under pressure and you're stressed out, you must do and use what is comfortable with you. So if you want to use a double jump method like this, practice it first make sure you practice it and get comfortable with it before you use it okay but there is another option there all right now as we move down the screen you guys are going to get used to it the questions need to get more challenging all right let's have a look at the next question all right just hold on a second bear with me we got bugs in the system here. Just gonna quickly close this and open it up again. We got bugs in the system. All right. Where were we? Ah, okay. This is where we are. All right. Now we're gonna talk about something that I feel is very important to understand. I know and I've taught grade 12s that are still getting this wrong. Okay. So please listen carefully to this section here when we talk about decimal hours and decimal minutes because it can get really confusing. Okay, 
We can also get time presented in decimals, all right? And you can have decimal hours and decimal minutes. And sometimes you need to be in decimal hours and sometimes you need to be in decimal minutes. And I'll give you an example of when, okay? Uh, all right, so let's do some practice over here. So this first line says a quarter of an hour. Now I want you to tell me in chat, how do we write that as a decimal? All right, with a comma, how many decimal hours is a quarter of an hour? All right, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I want you to express a quarter as a decimal. 0 0.25 to pillow on the money. All right, quick fingers, 0 0.25, so, there we go. Divu, sand, sand as usual, ompile, kaslejo, abuzwa, well done guys. All right, you guys are on the money. So a decimal quarter, is 0, 0.25, right? Now, what is that expressed as minutes? What is, if you don't, don't look at the decimal, go back to the quarter, because I'm sure you guys can express a quarter of an hour in minutes, all right? So what is a quarter of an hour expressed as minutes? How many minutes is a quarter of an hour? Keyword hmm. off. Yeah. <laughs> 15. All right, there we go. Sonke, Tracy, and Pile. All right. Barati Boyson, I like that name. 15, 15, 15. There we go. All right. So 15 minutes. A quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. Very good. All right. Let's go down here and we're going to do the rest. Half an hour, I'll pick that one because it's nice and easy. All right, half an hour is 0, 0,5. That's an easy one. I'll take it. Um, and it's 30 minutes. I'll take the easy ones. Now, here we go. Three quarters of an hour. What is that as a decimal? Three quarters of an hour. 0, 0, Jeez, very fast. These guys are too fast. 0, 0, 0,75. All right, so 0, 0,75 of an hour. But what is that in minutes? What is three quarters of an hour in minutes? 45 minutes. Sure, these guys are fast. 45, 45, 45. That's it. All right. So three quarters of an hour is 45 minutes. Very good. Here we go. One tenth of an hour expressed as a decimal. One tenth of an hour expressed as a decimal. A decimal tenth of an hour. 0, 0,1 to pelo. That's what I was looking for. How do we get three over five? It's three over four. All right, so this is three over four. All right, so it's three quarters of an hour. So Kia gave you a clue on how to work it out. So three quarters of an hour, all right? Three quarters of one. You can multiply that, all right? So you can actually do that on the calculator. So if we say of means, Time, so we can change the of to times. All right, and then we can use the calculator to help us out here. So we can say three over four times one hour. And if we change, use the SD button to change it from fractions to decimals, then you get 0, 0,75. Okay, so three quarters of an hour becomes 0, 0,75 of an hour. Okay, all right, one tenth. I'm sure there are some answers there, 0, 0,1, good. So one tenth of an hour is 0, 0,1 of an hour in decimal form. What is that in minutes? We have one tenth. Sure, these guys are fast. Okay, six minutes, very good. Now, you know what? If we wanted to work out what is two tenths let's say for example we wanted to work out what is two tenths or let's say for example we wanted to do two tenths which is actually one fifth we could also work out what is one fifth of an hour because we just take this answer and double it so all these little bits and pieces yeah we can also use to make up other answers so if you were stuck for example you didn't have a calculator you could actually do th this uh, conversion using fractions all right so we're converting from normal hours here into decimal hours. 
Okay, trying to work with decimals. And it's important to work with decimals, and I'll show you why. All right. Here's a conversion. Let's try this. Now, what is different in this question compared to the others that you guys just tried? This says, what is three comma three hours? So there's a decimal. Ooh, there's a decimal there. Oh, jump back in time. Uh, we are here. All right, there's a decimal there. So that is three comma three. We've been dealing with whole numbers. Now we're dealing with decimals. All right. I need a, someone to raise hands. I need someone to raise hands. Please, someone raise a hand, put their mic on and tell me what you do here. Takane, please put your mic on. Tell us. We are ready for you, Takane. 198 minutes. Okay, tell us how you got that. What did you do in the calculator? I said three, three comma three hours uh, times, times 60. All right, three comma three times 60. So it's three and a 0.3 of 60. So it's 3,3 .3 of 60, 3,3 .3 times 60. Nice and easy. All right. Times 60 gives us 198. That's very good. All right, very, very good. So this is three hours, which is 180 minutes. And comma three of an hour, if you want to know what that is, zero comma three, sorry, zero wait, wait, point three times one hour, that'll give us zero comma three. All right, you can do all the whole sum at once, but that's what it looks like in pieces. Okay, well done, good job. All right, so we know how to work with decimal hours. We can just times, okay? It's going to be important, I promise you. You are going to now try this. And I think they're both, well, I'm saying the grade 10, grade 10 the first one and 11th can do the second one. But I think everyone's going to be able to do both of these. This group is too smart. All right, there's two for you guys to try. I'm giving you five minutes to try this one. Well done, Sadie. Well done. Good job. Five minutes, guys. Spiwa, uh, send it. In two minutes. I just know. Yeah, we go. You see, already. Already. Spiwa, um, try and disconnect and reconnect again, or uh, send Kia a DM and she'll help you out. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the answers are the same so far. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'll bring it back. Here we go. All right. Let me do the first one here while the guys are working on the next one. Tabelo already has the second answer. Oh my gosh. Oh. We need to up our game. We need to up our game, Kia. These guys and are too smart. <laughs> yeah. We need to up our game. So they've got the answers for the second one already. Oh, we've got decimals there. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. 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 I'm sure this number, this answer is going to change in a short while. Hmm. One, three, nine, comma two. Hmm. I think everybody now is standing in solidarity. Ah, there's someone that's actually thinking about this now. Avuz was saying, Sir, do you run or we get a decimal? The fact that you're getting a decimal, that's the concern, Avuz. Because the question is saying, we want this in, in minutes and seconds. So let's see. Well, let's see, guys. I like the answers. Let's have a look now. All right. So hours into minutes. Okay. 
So how I would do this, and I'm going to do it bit by bit. Um, let me just create some space to work. All right. This is how I would do it, all right? So two hours into minutes, I know two hours is 120 minutes. Okay, so I've got 120 minutes in the bag. But I want to know what is um, comma three two of an hour. Now you guys do the whole calculator thing. So let's do the calculator thing. So two comma three two times 60. And I get this. I get 139 comma two. So I know that I've got 139 comma two minutes. All right, let me write the whole thing out here. So two comma three two hours times 60, like you guys are doing, I know you're all doing this, is 139, 139,2 minutes. Okay, so I saw this number a lot. But now the question says we need this in minutes and seconds. But I'm asking you, is this here comma two in seconds or minutes? This is minutes. It's comma two of a minute. So what is comma two of a minute? in the seconds format, all right? So we gotta take this a step further, all right? We got 139 minutes, we need minutes, but then this comma two, we need to know what is that in seconds, okay? So I'm gonna say 0 0.2 of a minute in seconds times 60 seconds is 12. So actually, I'm saying 0 comma two here, 0, 0.2 minutes, I need to get some seconds here. So I'm going to say times by 60 is 12 seconds. So actually what I have, you see the question said, I want it in minutes and seconds. So to give them the answer, it's 139 minutes and there are still 12 seconds. Okay, now the thing is, so when do you want us to give decimals and when do you want us to give minutes and seconds? Well, the question has to be specific. The question has to say, give this in decimal minutes or give it in minutes and second formats. Okay. All right. Close. Chiamo. Close. 20 seconds. All right. Maybe I made a mistake, but I think 0, 0,2 times 60 is 12. There we go. All right. That's what the calculator says. 0, 0,2 of a minute times 60 seconds is 12. So they, they want the answer in minutes and seconds. We are giving it in minutes and seconds, okay? So be careful with this one. This is why I said this section can get tricky with decimal hours and, and decimal minutes. All right, be careful. If they want it in minutes and seconds, you've got to give them in minutes and seconds. All right, we're getting to the end now. This is the last one. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know, yeah, I'm scared to even give it to them. I mean, they've proven <laughs> themselves, but... They have proven know. themselves. They have proven themselves. The you know, they have yes. great art. They yes. deserve a challenge. They deserve it. They haven't let us down. Let's see what they can do. Let's read this question. Elias and Jason both run a half marathon race that is 24 kilometers long. At the end of the race, they compare their times. Elias says he completed the race in 4,4 hours. Jason says he completed the race in 4 hours and 32 minutes. The first question is the easier one. Determine who ran the fastest time. Clue. You've got to compare apples with apples. All right, don't compare apples with oranges. Don't compare the times if they're both different fruits. All right, make them the same fruit and then you can compare them. Compare apples with apples. Question two, though, is the one that I'm worried about. Determine Jason's average speed in kilometers per hour for the race. Use the formula. Speed equals distance over time. Okay. I'm giving you guys five minutes to do these ones. The first one will take you 10 seconds at the rate you guys do it. But the second one, I think you're going to have to sit carefully with that one. All right. So let's see what you can do. I'm giving you five minutes. That was so quick. Sonke and Sonke already have answers. Um, question one. All right, these guys that are saying Elias, I hope you got some calculations to back you up. The answer could be correct, but I hope there's some calculations to back you up. I'm sure they've done the calculations, which is why they're saying Elias. All 
All right, I'm going to get question one done because you're running out of time here. So I'm going to do question one. Oh, that age. All right, the answers for A1 are correct, Elias. Make sure that when you, if they ask you a question, determine who ran the fastest, often they will say, show by calculation who ran the fastest. I just said determine. So your answers were correct because you just gave me the answer. But please try and remember to always show calculations that uh, when, you, when you're giving a statement like that, always back it up with a calculation. Um, yes, Elias did four hours and 24 minutes because comma four of an hour, is 24 minutes. We did four hours and 24 minutes, and and Jason did 432. So Elias is faster. A2. I'm sure okay, that there are answers there for A2. Question two. Um, a, a question. Where did we get the zero comma four? Ah, good question. Thank you. All right. So what I did was I looked at the two numbers, and I said they're both running four hours. Okay, so I could see a four hours in both of their times. The only difference though is that is the second part. The, the, um, Elias had comma four of an hour and Jason had 32 minutes. So I want you to compare those parts because I know they both ran four hours. So I only looked at the comma four of Jason's time and I took that comma four here and I wanted to know how many minutes is that? And it worked out to be 24 minutes. So then I can take the 24 from a decimal format into a normal minute format and then I can compare it with Jason. So I said, compare our, uh, apples with apples. So I changed the decimals into minute formats, and then I compared the two. So there's Elias's 24 minutes, which was 0, 0,4 hours, and there's Jason's 32 minutes. And we compare them, we can see that uh, Elias is quicker. So I didn't take the whole 4,4 4 hours. If I times it by 60, I would get minutes, and I didn't want to do that. So I just took the point 0.4, and I said, that comma 4, how many minutes is that? and converted that into the minute format, just like Jason's time was. All right, I'm sure we've got some answers here. Okay, 0 0.4, all right, that's where I got the 0 0.4. I don't see any answers for question two. I think they're a little bit scared. I think we've got them, Key. I think we stumped them. All right, let me quickly do it because we don't have much time left. Speed equals distance over time. So I need a distance from this question. And I need a time from this question, but whose time we're looking at? We need Jason's time. All right, now listen very I'm carefully. Listen. Sorry. Oh, okay, so this is Jason's time. The speed, the speed equation. This equation, speed equal distance over time, only takes time in decimal format. You need to hear me. Only decimal formats for this equation okay i've got matrix who still get this wrong they put in hours and minutes in here okay you need to convert the time into decimal decimal format all right so i'm going to show you how you do this okay so we've got jason's time here which is four hours and 32 i want to know this 32 minutes 
how much of an hour in decimal format is that 32 minutes? This is what I do. So I know it's four hours and this 32, I wanna know how much of an hour. So I'm gonna say 32, this is why I did this right in the beginning. 32 minutes out of a total of 60 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna say here, 32 divided by 60, that gives us 0 0.53333 recurring. All right, so Jason's time is four hours, comma, five, three recurring. I'm writing it off to two decimal places here. So this is hours in decimal format now. So I've changed from hours and minutes into decimal, but timesing. You guys went from decimal to hours and minute format by multiplying. I'm going backwards now by dividing. All right, so I divided by 60 and I get 4.53 hours. This formula needs decimal hours. It doesn't take anything else. So now I'm gonna put this into a form in our formula. The distance for the race was 24 kilometers. All right, so it's 24 kilometers here divided by 4,53 hours. And our formula has now been given kilometers and hours. So the speed will come out in kilometers per hour. So now we're gonna do the calculation. Uh, and I'm going to say very quickly, 24 divided by 4,53. And this gives us a speed of 5.298. So I'm looking at the second decimal, which is a nine, because we always run up to two decimal places. Look at the second decimal, it's a nine. That eight will change it, all right, which will change the 29 to 30. Okay, so it's 5,30. Kilometers per hour. All right. So please remember this. If there's one thing you remember, the speed equals distance over time formula only takes time in decimal format. Over and over again, I see my students try to put it in hours and minutes format. Okay. It only takes time in the decimal format. Please remember that. Sure. Kia, we've run out of time. We have, and a few people are a bit lost on the second question. Oh, I knew, I knew it was going to be a challenge. That's why I wrote there, challenge, all right? So we can come back to this question. We're going to do some revision at the end. We're going to put some hard questions together at the end uh, of this course. But this one here, like I said, even the matrix struggle and they mess this up sometimes, all right? So changing from hours into decimals, it's important sometimes to go into decimal, especially for the speed equals distance over time. Uh, question. All right. Yes. I know it's challenging. It is challenging. Now, what you can do, if you're struggling with this, you wait for the video to come out on YouTube, then you go back to the section at the end, and you can watch it over and over and over again until uh, you understand. Okay. So we're doing it once off here, and, we, and we're trying to get to the end because it's now seven o'clock. But go over this section uh, in, on the YouTube video, watch it over and over again. And you guys can uh, see this section again. But you've done well in all these other questions. You've done exceptionally well tonight. All ah, so okay. Um, you always show two decimal places in your answers. So 4,53, uh, sorry, 5,298 will be rounded up to 5,30. So always showing two decimal places in your answers. Guys, thank you so much for being here.